Projects are silent, developers are in trouble and up to 100,000 construction workers in Ireland have lost their homes in the last 12 months. Lost their jobs, I would have thought. Uh, I don't know about their homes, but it is not all bad news in the Irish property market. Once-off house building remains popular among Irish homeowners and the options are endless. Last week, Fiona McLaughlin met architect Naveen Jakula, who recently moved into his flat pack house in Milltown in Dublin, seven weeks after the builders started their work. Let's see what she learned. that the building of new developments and new estates has practically come to a standstill. But the market for once-off housing is still a growing market. So does building your own home have to be a difficult, convoluted process? Or is there an easier way? Can it be as simple as pay now, move in seven weeks later? Well, that's what flat pack housing promises, and I think it's time we found out more. They arrived in Bramley Park on the 21st of October and in four working days we had a house which was completely watertight. The house was so warm with the insulation and everything, we could actually live in it without doing any finishes. I mean, if... It may not have been too comfortable, but... but, but you could easily but live in it. Once the house was watertight, was there another truck that came along then with tiles and kitchens and...? Yes, um, it did. Um, for the next six weeks we had everything lined up to, um, to do the uh, tiling. Um, the second fix electric, second fix plumbing, um, plastering, painting. So in, in the, the next six weeks, we had the house complete. So basically, within seven weeks, the house was built and you were ready to move in? That's correct, yeah. But I wanted a, a bit of um, a character to the house and uh, uh, I chose not to use the German uh, Hans House uh, bricks from the outside because knowing them, they'll be too clinical, it'll be too perfect. I didn't want the house to look too, um, per se, kit house. So what I did is I organized um, an Irish um, brickie to lay the bricks for us, so that to give it a bit of a character, whilst these guys were doing the internal finishes, I got the, uh, the brickie uh, to do the outside. And so again, they're... Which ties it into it, to its neighbourhood and to its context, That's really. correct, yeah. In terms of cost, how did the quote for the traditional build compare with the, the cost of actually building this type of, of home? Um, the cheapest quote that I regard was about 400,000 um, euros. 300 was for the superstructure and the other 100,000 was for um, the services, the contributions and the foundations and other substructure. So the entire build cost was 400,000. It's basically two, two stage payment. The first is when the house actually arrives on the site and it's watertight. That's when you pay your 95% of the cost of your house. So for us it is a big incentive, which means we didn't have to be paying mortgage. Whilst we are paying for the site, we didn't want to be paying for um, the build as well. So it suited uh, us. So So there's a short length of time between paying out the money and actually getting into the property correct. essentially, which yeah. obviously saves a huge so, amount of money yeah. in terms of having to live elsewhere. You, you are an architect, uh, Naveem, obviously. Um, how does this product fit into the market at the moment, do you think? Obviously, there's, there's practically no development in terms of developers building at the moment. It's come to a, a standstill, more or less. But once off properties are still being built, what has this, this to offer to people? The biggest advantage I see is, is obviously the cost in the current climate. If you go down the traditional route, you're paying money every month, and sometimes this construction process goes to 12 months or 15 months or 18 months depending on the construction program. The market is tough and there's no denying that. We're, we saw the um, uh, slowdown in architectural business almost a year ago and uh, well, I think we as architects we believe we're hit the rock bottom and uh, it's only going to get better from here. Mm -hmm.